Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold all your works, oh Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his words. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the heart. 
hearts of your faithful and kindle them and kindle in them the fire of your love. Come, Holy Spirit. Kindle in them the fire of your
Good afternoon and welcome to St. Bernadette's Catholic Church. We're so glad you're here with us today, celebrating the Pentecost of the Holy Spirit. Our opening song is Every Time I Feel the Spirit. Every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. I'll go on the mountain when my God spoke. Out of God's mouth came fire and smoke. All around me looked so fine. I asked the Lord if all was mine. Every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Very good afternoon to all of you. Happy Pentecost weekend. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we have gathered once again, empowered by that Holy Spirit that uh, we will uh, be proclaiming about in the gospel and reflecting on the meaning of it uh, in, in the homily, we uh, ask the Lord to once again continue to inspire us to breathe that spirit in our hearts that we'll be able to uh, see ourselves worthy of this celebration this evening. So we turn to God now and ask his mercy and pardon upon all of us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace. 
peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the mystery of today's great peace, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Pour out the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed. Fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as a fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthenians, 
Medes, and Elanamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Bulgaria, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O oh Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit, and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit, and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my feet. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons. And we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Amen. 
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his sides. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. You may be seated. My dear friends, that was in 1977 when the first episode of Star Wars came out. That was very exciting. Everybody was excited and I went in to the movie house to see the movie. And of course, it was such a very, very uh, interesting, meaningful movie. That day I saw it and still reminds me of how important a message in a movie is in my own life, hopefully in your own as well. 1977, looking at you, I think you were teenagers then. Regardless, young at heart. And when that most important scene was being shown in which the General Dodonna imparted his blessing upon the rebel soldiers, he said, May the force 
be with you. May the force be with you. And I was just surprised that many voices came together at the movie house from the seats. And with your spirit, I realized there were so many Catholics <laughs> in that movie house <laughs> at that screening time. And I felt so good that I was not alone. And of course, I repeated with them and with your spirit. My dear friends, in today's gospel, Jesus imparted his last words to his disciples. I breathe. He breathed on them with the words, I send you the Spirit. I pour out the Spirit upon you so that as we reflect on the words of the responsorial psalm that we repeated in song to renew the face of the earth. Jesus sent and poured out his spirit upon his disciples so that these disciples in their own way, even in small ways, and hopefully in big ways, they will be responding to the Jesus' call of peace and renew the face of the earth and also with your spirit. Receiving the spirit is a privilege, is a grace God gave to us first when we were baptized. And when we were confirmed that fullness of the spirit were poured out upon us. Just a few minutes ago, I had confessions and at the blessing I deliberately emphasized the words to the ministry of the church may God give you pardon and peace and before that prayed I prayed that the spirit would be poured out on the penitents praying as well to all of the congregation that we have here at this Mass, at this very moment. In the Gospel today, Jesus breathed that Spirit upon the disciples. And our understanding or my understanding of it is that that was the time when Jesus commissioned his disciples to preach the good news. And the book of the Gospel of St. John is so clear about that breathing of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit, which of course we, we believe is the third person of the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And, of course, it's very difficult to understand mentally or intelligently what is that spirit unless we understand it from the point of view of faith. The spirit that is given to the disciples and also given to each and every one of us at baptism, at confirmation, at the weddings, at your marriages, at the uh, confession, ordination of the priesthood and diaconate, anointing of the sick and all the other sacraments, especially in the, Eucharist, in the Eucharist. It is life giving. In the scripture, when we speak about breathing, we are speaking about living. The person who is not breathing is dead. And so 
the Gospel of John emphasizes the breathing part of it, the imparting of the life-giving grace of God to each and every one of us. And also another symbol which we reflect on the first reading today about that imparting of the Holy Spirit upon the disciples and all peoples is that the Spirit symbolized by fire. Again, we understand in scriptures that the fire is something that warms us. Even in our ordinary experience, we need to have fire so that we will be warmed up. Also, fire is symbolized by the light. As we know, we are towards the end of the Easter season, which the Paschal candle is the center or the most, one of the most symbolic and important symbols during the Easter season. And so the light is a guide to us in the same way that the Holy Spirit is a guide to us. We'll try to remember those symbols in our daily lives. Because God has given us Christ who is the light of the world. And therefore, when we celebrate the Pentecost, we are celebrating light. We are celebrating breathing, which is symbolizing life also. Light being our guide will remind us day after day that in this journey of faith, the risen Christ, the ascended Christ, has given us the fullness of the Spirit so that we will be guided, so that we will continue to breathe the grace of God in and out in our daily lives so that we will always be able to respond to the prayer during the Mass, the Lord be with you. And you will make that conscious effort to give meaning to your response, to our response, to the celebrant, to the priest, and with your spirit. Let's continue on with this journey of faith as we move from the Easter season to ordinary time. And as we do during the time, the ordinary time, God still continues to call us to grow more deeply in our faith. And so therefore, as we walk along with that spirit, let's also continue to pray Come, Holy Spirit, come as fire to warm us. Come as wind to cleanse us. Come as light to guide us. Come as power to enable us. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Help us renew the face of the earth. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake was crucified under Pontius Pilate, 
he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear friends, confident that we are always in the presence of the all-embracing spirit, we raise our prayers and petitions before God, our Heavenly Father. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may God keep him in health of mind and body, that he may continue to bear witness to the faith of Peter, on which Christ built his church. We pray for the Lord. The Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the baptized and confirmed Christians, May they be lovers of God and people of the way, bearing witness to the transformative power of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end of violence, racial hatred, wars, and the exploitation of Earth's resources, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the suffering, and those who are living with terminal diseases, May the power of the Holy Spirit give them strength of body and spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who now sleep in the presence of Christ, may they enjoy the promise of resurrection through the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those most in need of our prayers, especially for members of St. Bernadette Church, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray especially today for Frank Rusan and Gilbert Wright who are celebrating their birthdays. May God give them many more years of serving our church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers we hold in the silence of our own hearts. For these prayers, and those entered into our prayer and petition list, that they may be received and answered by our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of life and love, hear these gifts we raise today. Moved by the power of the Spirit, answer them according to your will, not ours. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. The Holy Spirit gifts each one of us uniquely. How can we use our unique gifts this week to help others? Please take a few moments to prayerfully consider your offertory gift to God and thanksgiving for the many blessings you have received this week. Descend upon your life and make you whole. Jesus, oh Jesus, come and fill your land. Jesus, 
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all your souls. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, spirit. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son, this same Spirit, as the church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Oh. 
Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift you pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be the co-heirs to eternal life, we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. with confidence to God our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth and as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be many parts we are all one body and the gifts we have we are given to share may the spirit of love make us one indeed one the love that we share one a hope and despair one the cross that we bear God of all, we look to you. We would bear your servants true. Let us be your love to all the world. We are many parts. We are all one body. And the gifts we have, we are given to share. May the spirit of love make us one indeed. One the love that we share, one the hope and despair, one the cross that we bear. So my pain is pain for you, in your joy is my joy too. All is brought together in the world. We are many parts. We are all one body. And the gifts we have, we are given to share. May the spirit of love make us one indeed. On the love that we share. Born in despair, on the cross that we bear. All you seek is great and small, seek the greatest gift of all. If you love, then you will know the Lord. We are many parts. We are all one body, and the gifts we have, we are given to share. May the spirit of love make us one indeed, one the love that we share, one our hope and despair, one the cross that we bear. Yeah. 
There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And I know that it's the spirit of the Lord. There are sweet expressions on each face. of the Lord. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet Heavenly Dove, stand right here with us, filling us with your love. And for these blessings, we lift our in praise without a doubt we know that we have been revealed by when we shall leave this place sweet Holy Spirit sweet heavenly dove stay your love and for these blessings we lift our hearts in praise without a doubt we know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place Let us pray. O oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that the spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Well, I already know the answer to the first question. Are there any birthdays? Any birthdays? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from St. Bernadette. Happy birthday to you. Are there any anniversaries? Any anniversaries? Are there any visitors? Any visitors? Okay. One for three. Last weekend, we had two, not one, but two great events here at St. Bernadette. On Saturday night, we had 45 young adults gather in our hall for theology on tap. The evening including socializing over beer and pizza, as well as an incredible speaker. The event was coordinated by Danielle and Georgia. Um, thank you so much. They're not here this evening, but we will recognize them again tomorrow. Very next day, the women's tea was held. They filled the hall second time. Great food, incredible table directions, um, decorations, I mean, a wonderful speaker, again. Proceeds from that event go to the Junior Daughters Scholarship Fund. If you were one of the committee which made this event a reality, please stand and be recognized. Anybody from the Ladies Auxiliary? All the way, one, all the way in the back. The last row. Thank you very much. And we'll acknowledge everybody again tomorrow. It was, it was an incredible weekend. 
On a related note, if you or your organization plan on using the parish hall this coming year, we encourage you to reserve the parish hall now or any other facilities as soon as possible. Our event calendar is filling up. Be an informed parishioner, visit our website, sbernadettela.org, our Facebook page, our Twitter page, or simply pick up a paper copy of our parish bulletin. At the recommendation of the Pastoral and Finance Councils, we will be resuming our ushers and junior ushers ministries. If you are interested in being a coordinator for that ministry, either ushers or junior ushers, probably one coordinator, um, please see me afterwards or call the office. And with that, my brothers and sisters, please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's time for us to become people with spirit. It's time for us to be people of love. It's time for us to know that Jesus Christ is risen, gives us all sin, and brings us new life. I send you out on a mission of love. I send you out. I send you out on a mission of love and know that I am with you always until the end of the world.